you're going. All right, you guys go after Alyssa. Be careful. I'll get the security. I love this plan. I'll man the security cameras to triangulate them on the monitors and talk you through. See you soon, Ray. Let's go, guys. See you soon, guys. Dr. Rutherford, if you'll show me to security. It's a mannequin ambush! Don't bother trying to capture it. Just blast him down to nothing. Catch up to them! That was nowhere near fair. Please help preserve our displays by not touching them. Let's make some noise. Funny joke. More getting to the security camera. Please, Ray. Peter! Oh, God! To the temple, the glowing one. That's a big 10-4.
Hittite, Mennonite, Phoenician, Babylonian, Assyrian, Mesopotamian, Sumerian. Ah, uh, he's making it all up. Just one of those things. Ah, uh, you pick this stuff up. You know, around the office. Peter, come in. Hi, honey. How was your day? Man, we've reached the security office. This one is a shambles. It's been sabotaged. Black slime all over the place. Only a few of the cameras are still working. When you're free, no rush. Open gate 3487. Just for kicks. Give me a minute. Ray, stay away from any possession. Um, Dr. Rutherford, if you're still there, can you go catch Dr. Stance, please? Okay, I shook off that possessor. Found a different security room. Can't find Dr. Rutherford, though. I must have scared him off. You're not pretty when you're possessed, Ray. Seriously. I've got you on the cameras. You should be coming to the Civil War exhibit. Alyssa just passed through there. Okay, we're on it. Thanks. You know the difference between this exhibit and the other ones? The soldiers in this one have guns. Let's just pass through here as quickly as we can, and... Yeah, I don't really think we could do it. I'm just thinking happy thoughts. the American Revolutionary War, could it? Or the War on Roses? Even the War on Drugs? It just had to be this one. <laughs> This job. Maybe they're just props, but those barrels are marked explosive. had a window, it'd be just like a little Vicksburg snowblow. Let's see you guys fight it out inside that tiny little trap. 
Yep, they took some casualties. Remember to stop by our gift shops and take home a piece of history. We made it to the security office. I can see you guys on the cameras. No sign of Alyssa or her kidnappers, though. In the early 1900s, the museum was run by a board of trustees. Powerful guys, tycoons, captains of industry. The chairman of the board was Cornelius Wellesley of International Steel. The board used the museum as a respectable front for all kinds of dubious activities. Mainly, though, they were part of a club run by our favorite evil architect. They hired women from the St. Nicholas Rehabilitation Mission for Wayward Angels. Rumor has it the board conducted all kinds of nasty rituals using these women. We've got to find that oozing tub of blubber and Alyssa. Well, here we are, the Egypt exhibit. I practically lived here while I was working on my doctorate. There was less black slime then! And I don't remember the screaming skull so much! They're coming through the black slime! Close the portal! Here they come! Get a scan on that! Ow! <laughs> Yo! Oh, it's okay. Rookie mistake. Run! Folks, it's okay. Be calm. Everything's under control. It's the Ghostbusters. Ghost! Get away! Get away! <laughs> Watch it now. Yeah, of course. The trap locks us in with the ghost. Wouldn't it be nice to get locked out every now and then? Put your head down. Ah! 
Lousy before. Ow! Flash it! Sorry, behind. I'm from New York, man. Hey, Rick. How do we get out of the Egypt exhibit? The main door is blocked up tight. The Egyptian main room. Check the west wall. There should be a door leading through to the next exhibit. I'm looking right at the west wall, and I don't see a door. Well, I'm looking right at the blueprints, and, uh, oh, I get it. Clever. The ghosts used their own dimensionally anomalous signatures to slightly wrinkle the time-space continuum. The door is still there. Good. Thank you very much. Now let's get the hell out of here. Where'd Peter go now? There he is! Let's get him! Hey guys, did you find Alyssa? Where did that ghost go? You didn't see him, but he just came through here. He must be headed back to the World of Gozer exhibit. That's our cue. We move it. Thank you. 
Not the words that rescuing hero wants to hear from his damsel in distress. May I say, your eyes are much prettier when they're not glowing like hot coals. Peter, I've made an extraordinarily frightening discovery. Why don't you all go away? All my data indicate that the ghost world is beginning to push through multiple cross portals from their dimension into ours. Well, more overtime. Guys, look! <laughs> Calls my name. Block the exits! Don't let it escape with her. Hit it with slime. <laughs> Winston, get the lady out of here before he hits on her again. <laughs> Into the big yellow eye. <laughs> Who wouldn't like to have that superpower? Care to tell me why my library, museum, and parade are all going down the toilet? I keep telling you, sir, the Ghostbusters are nothing but scam artists determined to throw a negative light on you and the city, and extort you for more money. Hello, Peck. I own that suit in blue. Both of you, pipe down! Mr. Mayor, an enormous event is on the horizon. Something at the museum exhibit triggered a systemized psychic occurrence. Some mechanism we don't know the nature of yet. No, of course you don't. But it's feeding enormous energy somewhere. Something that's now in the process of breaking down the walls between our world and another one. This other world is crossing through into ours. It started with simple ghosts and animated monsters. Now it's getting bigger. We don't know exactly what's next, but there's only room for one city here in this dimension. Two physical worlds can't exist in the same space. That's just elementary particle physics. We got a glimpse of the other world, Jock. It ain't pretty. It's like Brooklyn and the Bronx with no queens in the middle. Whole city blocks sinking into a fifth dimensional abyss. Cockroaches the size of polo ponies. Panic in the streets. How'd you like disco to come back? bigger than ever. I get it. We're in trouble. So what am I supposed to do? We need to prepare the city for the worst. The city's my responsibility, not yours. Now go do your job and stop that thing. You got a bite on your PKE. Scan around for something paranormal with your goggles. way, gentlemen. Well, this looks inviting. I'll be at the office watching over Alyssa. Don't do anything fun without me. You left a trail. This way. It probably goes without saying, but this is very strange. Well, that is your conversation starter. What's strange? This tunnel network, what could it possibly have been built for? I was thinking the same thing. Well, it could just be an old steam tunnel. No way, Peter. The design and valves don't fit for moving steam, water, gas, electric, oil, trains, not even slime. What about Morlocks? Morlocks would hate this kind of ornamentation. I don't recognize the alloy fabrication. This way, with me.
So it's not steam, not Morlocks, but there's plenty of ghosts. You're right about that. There's more consistent accelerated PKE blowing through here than I've ever seen. But this is not the origin point. This is just a conduit. Look at the trail! The chairman went that way! He's running down this tunnel! The question is, where does it lead? Does it feel weird in here to you guys? Like, familiar weird? Well, we knew which way to go for a while at least. There's got to be another way around this. The trail leads to this sealed door, then stops. Man, I do not want this jerkball to get away again. Oh, that was a little harsh. What'd you have against that wall? The new cadet's all right. Well, so far, not too shabby. Egon, I think this is as good a time as any to install a new CPS. The Mizan Collider is extremely precise and deals a lot of damage, but takes a while to recharge. The Overload Pulse disperses a rapid burst of Mizan particles. You can fire each of them independently. They both work great. But you can also use them in tandem. Paint a target using the Mizan Collider. After you've acquired the target, all expulsions from the Overload Pulse will home in on that target. Oh, it just seems like a lot because it's alive. The column, it's flowing upwards. If you see a big yellow eye in there, poke it with something. No yellow eye, Ray. Maybe it already went up there. Well, that doesn't sound good. Is it my turn to lead? I don't want to jump in front. <laughs> Hello, Chairman. Ready to get what's coming to you? <laughs> Kidnapping is a class one felony, and we do not tolerate it in our jurisdiction. Get him! It's got to have a weak spot somewhere. Keep it coming! 
coming! Moving! Look behind you! I'm slimed. Almost there. Plasmably saturated. Almost there.
I should have shuttered you fraudulent gangsters forever when I had the chance. You know what? I'm going to put an end to this madness now. Right now. I'm shutting down your containment grid for good. You can kiss off a permanent license, not to mention any chance for more government contracts. You did this to me. And you're going to pay. You're welcome, you peck. All right, that's it. That's it. You're done, smart guys. You are done, smart, cool guys. I have the authority, and I'm shutting you and your phony containment grid down now. The whole city will have to pay because of your shenanigans. The whole city. What? But that shuts you down, too. Well, so be it. I have bigger fish to fry. And get him off me! I think we need to keep an eye on him. You think? No. I mean, we really need to keep an eye on him. You're real heroes. Kind of routine. As usual, I led the charge. <sighs> We're fired heroes. Peck's gonna pull our license. Well, get real, Ray. It's the holidays. Nobody in this town's gonna be around to pull our license till Monday. We got the whole weekend to stop this calamity and probably half a dozen others, save the city. We got a four-day weekend. We have time left for ourselves. Dr. Vinkman, if they start evacuating Manhattan, I won't be coming in on Monday. Catastrophic exodus I of the city the does not count as a floating holiday. I know. I Millennial will apocalypse. Your world unraveled. Maybe. Maybe not. Hello, ghost. What does this symbol mean? Uh, guys. Perfect fit. It's not a constellation. It's a mandala. I can't believe I never saw it before. Okay, for one minute, pretend someone here doesn't know what a mandala is. A mandala is like a spiritual labyrinth. And this one looks like a spiraling system that feeds into each successive node along the line until it reaches a culmination point. Before he died, Shandor must have set some mechanism in place similar to the antenna in Dana's building. You know, I think you helped to make that clear. So this was the gizmo that's supposed to feed energy to the destructor form? That's... that's right, Peter! Well, Dr. Venkman. Well, I had to get one right eventually, didn't I? I mean, just math. All right, I'm just speculating, but it's possible that ghosts are trapped in the system, funneled from node to node, and they get stronger and stronger until they reach the end, and then they... Look, the first portal, the library, the second, the museum, and the third, the Sedgwick. And that means the fourth portal must be right here. The middle of the Hudson River? Well, according to the Mandala, yes. It may need a little tweaking. I don't know. Plenty of bodies in that river. Could become ghosts. But what does this have to do with me? What did I do? You were at the museum and the Sedgwick. Maybe you were some sort of catalyst, accidentally setting things in motion. You're saying this is my fault? You are blameless! What Egon meant to say was that you have some sort of connection to this thing and we're going to go back to the sedge where we can find out what. Isn't that right, Brainiac? That's right, Peter. Alyssa, do you remember where you were going when you were at the Sedgwick? I was standing outside a room. 1221. Something was compelling me to go in, but I woke up just before the door opened. I ran out of there as fast as I could. And then some jerk tried to pick me up on the elevator. Okay, you need to stay here where it's safe and where you can't set off any more cross-dimensional shockwaves, hot stuff. Here, read up on the Mandela and the boys will check out the Sedgwick. The boys? And what about you, Superstar? I'm gonna have you drop me off near Peck's office. Something tells me he's not quite what he seems. Good idea. Meet us at the hotel when you're done. The dead shall walk, and the mighty shall fall. Come here, boy. I'll wear you like pats. I was just beginning to savor your burgeoning anger towards one another. May the hooves of a thousand steeds trample you underfoot. 
I see the evil of the times to come. In time, all music will be free. But for the cost of your soul. Hello, Ghostbusters. Oh, yes, they're very busy right now. No. For the foreseeable future, they are not available for weddings, bar mitzvahs, debutante balls, proms, supermarket openings, halftime shows, company retreats, car washes, book signings, talk show appearances, or productivity seminars. And they definitely don't do birthday parties. No Whoa. If this place were any more dead, we need a coroner. Egon used to be a licensed coroner. No kidding. It's just a hobby now. Closed until further notice by the Paranormal Contracts Oversight Commission. Peacock. Entrance into this establishment is strictly forbidden and is punishable by fine and imprisonment. What now? Hmm. This notice is for the general public. It doesn't apply to us. We're bonded contractors for the city. Especially the Ghostbusters. All right, heat them up. They'll melt our way in. Wait, I have a better idea. Good thinking. Hmm. This is disappointing. No. Disappointing is the Jets losing in the last two minutes. Not being covered in slime by phantom ghouls out to kill us doesn't exactly make me reach for a hanky. Why they shut down? You guys didn't bang the place up that bad last time you were here. If this place is a Mandala note, a few burnt walls and broken ceilings are the last thing that anybody's... And smashed furniture, broken chandeliers, destroyed paintings, shattered vases, probably some minor structural damage. Thanks, Egon. My point being that there's more to worry about here than some minor cosmetic issues. Definitely a Mandala node. If we don't shut down Shandor's Mandala soon, most of Manhattan will become as vacant as this. Not to mention also becoming a bastion of absolute mind-numbing horror for centuries to come. Hey, I definitely don't lay out two grand a month for a 600-square-foot walk-up to live in a bastion. Let's get to work. <laughs> 